happy Monday. So today is an after triathlon workout. So I did the Rocketman triathlon yesterday. Uh, it was a 51-50 but with a longer bike ride. It was 36 miles. They said it was 33 but my bike said 36. So anyway, it was fun. It was a tough race. Um, it was a first year doing it, which was pretty cool since it's the Rocketman. It was around the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, uh, Space Canaveral. And so that was really neat to be biking back there. Um, so, while you're doing a triathlon, there's lots of time to think. So I was thinking about what the workout would be for today and not knowing how energetic I would be. So I wanted to do a core work um, because when you're, whatever you're doing, you always need a strong core. So when I'm biking, you know, I'm looking at people and even on a bike, you need a strong core because if you don't have a strong core, you're using your shoulders to help pedal and you're moving side to side instead of a strong core, then you've got all the power coming from your hips into your legs. Um, same with swimming, you know, holding yourself in a nice, strong, you know, body line and, and of course running, not running up right and, and being nice and strong. So focusing on the core today, um, as always, you know, always engage your whole core. This is your core, abs, hip flexors, lower back, um, and so with everything that you do, you want to be engaging your, um, your abs, you know, holding in, um, and just keeping good posture and good form. So let's get started. Today you just need hand weights. I'm using six pounds, I think, yeah, six pounders. We're doing around the world, so something that you're gonna be able to go up and around with um, jump rope and a box jump, uh, so I'm using the Step 360 to jump up, up uh, onto and off of. Uh, so, get your warm up in and let's get started. And I can take off my recommend shirt now. Okay, so 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay, so we're going to start with 10 second warm up. Make sure my volume is up. So our first exercise is elevated plank with knee in and out. So here you go, high plank. Oh, actually elevated. So up off the box. So it's here. So knee comes in and knee comes out. And switch, knee comes in and knee comes out. Cross and out to your shoulder. Cross and out to your shoulder. So, stomach nice and tight here. Shoulders are over your wrist. I'm going to pull it in a little closer. As you can see. Cross and out. Exhale and out. That's the way. Got 10 seconds. into a side lunge with a knee cross. So we're going to work with our right leg. So standing nice and tall. Lunge, butt back, bring it up, and twist. Lunge and twist. That's why toes forward. So push off of that foot. Balance on your left foot here, and twist. You want to feel the oblique twist. That's right. So just stay with one leg here. So there are seven rounds. We're going two times through each round. So we'll go back to the elevated plank, and then we'll do our left leg on here. Do this. Two, and one. Okay, back to the elevated plank. So always assess your form. Shoulders over your wrists. In and out. That's the way. So if the 
this is too difficult for you, don't do it as an elevated plank. Do it as a low plank. And even if still, you could do it as uh, on your el uh, elbows. Okay, now to the left leg. Here we go. So left leg lunge and twist. Left and twist. Sit back and twist. So come up nice and tall and twist it across. That's way. My parents always pushed my shoulders back, stand tall, good posture. <sighs> I always remember going up into uh, for communion in church, and my dad pushing back on your shoulder blades to stand tall. Always remember. Okay, so now we are at single leg walk out to push up, and then we're going to do the same thing knee cross. So single leg, knee up, we're going to bend down. Walk it out, do a push up, you can keep it up or rest it, and then do the same thing, knee in and out. Keep the same leg, and we're going to stick with the same leg. Raise it up, down, walk it out, you push up, knee cross, and to the outside. So if this is too difficult, you can do it with both legs down, go to your knee push up. Oops and then try to do your uh, plank cross. <sighs> Takes balance. <sighs> okay, and the cardio part, that was the oblique twist. So feet are going one way, hands the other. And you're just gonna be hopping. There you go. So really keep your shoulders your elbows up at the shoulder height and try to push them back a little. Like you're elbowing back and you're twisting your lower body. That's way. Go, 10 seconds. Do the best you can. Okay, back to the single leg. So this time right leg is up. Balance, go down, walk it out. You push up and cross. it up. to the oblique twist. Here we go. And go. Keep those shoulders up. Keep your elbows up.
And we move on to our third round, which is low plank of oh, rainbows. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Okay. So now we're on low plank. Doing a low plank rainbow, so hips side to side. Making a rainbow arch. Okay. So rotate, rotate. Side to side. So here, stomach tight. Suck the belly button up to the spine. Tighten up your glutes, your legs. side oblique crunch. Okay, so we're going to go left side here, balancing on your right hand. You can come up, touch your toes, or you can do knees to elbows. Actually, let's alternate. Toes, knees to elbows. So if doing the toes is too hard for you, then just do the, stay with the knees to elbows. So you're on the cup of your hip, your glute, yes, and you're balancing. My left arm is Holding me up. So back, up. So if this bothers your back at all, then lay flat and just do a regular sit, um, crunch. Just lift. Almost there, seven seconds. Now instead of doing a rainbow, we're gonna do a Superman race. Cause you're gonna work the lower back as well. The front abdominals. So here we go. So hold up for one, two, and release. Up for two, and release. Really squeeze everything, toes pointed and down. Really squeeze. Lift up as high as you can. Got 10 seconds. Okay, now we're going to the other side for our, our sit-ups. So the weather started out pretty rough in the morning. It was a very windy day, but it was a little, not sprinkles, but uh, spitting on the bike ride. And then the sun came out for the run, so it was a beautiful afternoon. Okay, so now we're going to a lunges. Oh, a lunge, row, and twist. So we're going to need our weights. So we're starting with the left, the right leg in a lunge position. We're going to row, do a tricep tw uh, press, twist, and back, back in. So row, bring them up to your chest, tricep press back, twist, and back down. A little twist, and down. So you can bring them forward again and then do your row if you want. Whichever way of bringing it back. Pull up, down, 
So make sure it's a tricep press. Press the elbows back. So you're in a slight lunge here. I know I keep on switching from bringing it up and down. I don't think it matters either way. Okay, so that was right leg forward. Okay, so we're doing the box jump with the squat thrust now. So get your chair or your box, whatever you want to jump up on. So jump up, jump down, and squat thrust. So core tight, squat down, thrust back. Toes forward. Even when you jump in, make sure your toes are pointing forward. Keep them in line with your knees. Goes forward. Woo, I'm feeling my quad. Three, two, and one. Woo -hoo. Okay, back to the box jump. With the squat test. starting leg. You can do all these exercises at your own level. Just do what works best for you, but challenge yourself. If you're not breathing heavy, you need to pick it up a little bit. Okay. All right. On to the next one. This is push-up jacks. So, what we're going to do is the, the jack as we're going down. So, and then. If this is too difficult, do your push up. Hamstrings, arms up and kick. So keep your arms raised. Is a quite a 
tight little town right on the water. So we swam in the Indian River. It's really pretty. And riding in the uh, Kennedy Space Center area was pretty neat. Riding past the launch pads. Okay, so back to the push-ups. Here we go. Okay, push up kicks. The last time doing push-ups, so that's positive. Standing kicks again. <sighs> Lift him up. Kick. Work through it. If your shoulders are burning right now, as mine are, shake it out and get back up. Come on. your Cinco de Mayo yesterday. We went and had our Mexican for dinner. That's why hand time. Okay. Okay, this one is reverse lunge with the power knee. So left leg. So you're gonna stay in. So we're going to stay in a lunge and power the knee up. So the left leg is doing the work. So lunge and oh, lunge down and power it up. Lunge. So as you dip down, 90-90, make sure this knee is over your ankle. And then power it up. Push off and power up. The weight is in my right heel here. Fast twitch, quick, quick muscle. Bring it up and back down. That's why we have 10 seconds. Now we go to a oh, sliding knee tucks. So we need our paper plates. Uh, forget about that one. Okay, so you need your plates, or if you're on hardwood floor, take your shoes off here. So high plank position, tuck your knees up, take your elbow. Or just into the center. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrist. Suck your stomach in. Squeeze. Engage those muscles. And out. Yeah. And then we 
have one more round to go. You're doing awesome. Stand up nice and tall as you rise up. Engage your abs. Core tight. Come up. And whip it. I'm just touching, nipping the carpet. So bring your knee down. All right, so back to our sliding tucks. Feet on your paper plates. Away. Perhaps I said I'll like a lighter weight because these are hard. You want to be able to work through the whole round. Three, two, and one, and we go to our jump rope. Fix my necklace. Three, two, and one. High knees jump rope. Here we go. The knees up. So don't go really fast doing this, because that's momentum. Work those muscles. Nice and slow down, slow coming, coming up. One, two, one, two. It's more like one, two, three. But use the same pace as you are going up to coming down. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, last time with your jump rope. Becomes all that you want. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
you do a cool down and a stretch. Hydrate and refuel. And I will see you on Wednesday. Have a great day. Let me show you my hardware. This was the metal, finisher's metal. Isn't that nice? And I got third. My age group, strong women in my age group. Very strong, awesome. Okay, great workout guys. Have a great day, bye.